So if you want to build navigation for an infinite world, um, here's one way that you can do it. So in my situation, I spawn in the middle of a map and I have all of these different sub-levels which are generated as I move out more and more and more and more to infinity. So I can go as far as I want. And what I want is the AI to always be able to move um, around me. So the levels are obviously streaming in proximity to me as I move through the world old levels behind me are disappearing, new levels appearing in front of me, and the same thing happens with AI. The AI is spawning um, within a particular range from where my character is, and what I want is the AI to always be able to move when I'm near them. Um, so one way to do that is you have you have your nav mesh inside of your persistent level, okay? Set that to whatever size you want. Um, mine's just 10,000, okay? Uh, you want your recast nav mesh runtime generation to be set to dynamic I think I don't even know if you need that but the main thing is when when you initiate your level get a reference to your nav mesh so get all actors of class nav mesh bounds get the first element of the array save that to a variable so you've got access to that and then what I've done is I've just attached that nav mesh volumes to my control pawn my player so that it's going to follow the player throughout the entire map um, now, there's one more thing that you need to do because once the navigation is attached to your player and you're updating the position of it, you still need to update it. So you've got this node here, which is on navigation bounds updated, and you can get that by using the get navigation system, dragging off and then typing get navigation bounds updated. And your nav volume needs to be your nav mesh reference that you got at begin play. And then you need to update this periodically like maybe you want to do it every couple of seconds or how I've done it is I've got um, well from here from here onwards or from here onwards rather is firing every time my player changes a distance of 10,000 units which is the size of my nav mesh but I might make my nav mesh a little bit bigger but anyway let me show you so that event's firing whenever the player moves a significant amount of difference now in the editor you can see those lines um, up around the planet um, encapsulated by a box that's my nav mesh because it's been set to not hidden in game. Um, and now if I type in show navigation, press your squiggly line or your apostrophe or whatever it is next to your one key, and then type in show navigation, oops, show navigation, um, you can see down there, oh god, this sound is fucking loud. Um, <laughs> manifest it, oh Jesus Christ. Um, you can see that the navigation has only spawned around where the navigation volume was at begin play that's because i haven't triggered the update event yet so as i walk off that tile my event fires and it does the update okay so now you can see the navigation's moved and if i move over here onto a new tile which is there there we go it's updated again and you can see the ai over there she's moving towards me now right now if i go even further away let's go all the way over here and my game's gonna lag like hell but that's fine um, you can see that the nav mesh is constantly building around my player whenever I change coordinates. So I do need to make it a bit bigger because occasionally, see I'm outside of the bounds now and AI won't be able to get to me, like this AI over here. So I need to make it a bit bigger. But if I go over here and I refresh it, they can move now. Okay? Die. Uh, so that's how you can do navigation for an infinite world. I hope that was helpful.